Hi friend, welcome to my channel. Do you know how to make gravy from your turkey drippings? What you mean you already know how to make it? You know what? That's your business. Watch the video anyway because I need these views. <laughs> Stay tuned, friend. You don't want to miss this. Let's get right into it. So this is the turkey that I had made. Look at it, baby. That turkey is a beauty. If you have not yet seen the video of how to make this turkey, you should definitely go ahead and watch it. All right. But let me show you how to make the gravy with so the drippings. So this is the remainder of the drippings that we have. This is actually the turkey juice. This is all the juices that ran through the turkey when the turkey was cooking. All that good stuff, all that seasoning, all that butter, all that good stuff we put on the turkey. That's basically all the juices. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to put it in a bowl, um, in a plate, in a cup, baby. I don't care where you put it. Just put it somewhere and set it to the side because we're going to need that later on. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to put a pot on the stove at medium high heat, 7, 8. We're going to put four tablespoons of salted butter. Yes, the black people butter again. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add three. Three tablespoons of flour and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix that all together until you see no more white okay it is better to do this with a whisk because you won't have no clumps and no lumps and no bumps in your gravy and we don't want that business okay so mix it very well with your whisk until you have no clumps and no lumps and no bumps make sure you let that flour cook so that your gravy don't taste like a block of flour okay and once it start changing color like this this is what you want this is what you need you're doing great you could let it get a little bit darker if you want but this is fine with me but do not burn it okay if it's browning too quick for you turn down the fire now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put that turkey dripping that we took out earlier into the pan and we're gonna go ahead we're going to add two cups of water while mixing that in like this when you first start this off like this it's gonna look a little bit crazy you're gonna be like well freddie freddie don't freddie don't stir me wrong she don't led me to the wrong path but have no fear. Freddie would not do that to your friend. Just go ahead and let it cook because time is an ingredient. Give it some time. Let it boil, baby. And it's going to start to get thick. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add one teaspoon of chicken flavor bouillon. And we're going to mix that all together. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add about one fourth teaspoon of black pepper and a pinch of salt. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to mix it all together. Then you could go ahead and taste your gravy to see if you like it. If you see it need anything else, add it. For me, it was perfect. It ain't need anything else. And the consistency was perfect. If you want yours to be a little bit more loose, boil it less. If you want it to be thicker, boil it more. It's all up to you and what you want to do, friend. And just like that, baby, you have a perfect gravy, perfect consistency, perfect color, okay? And if for any reason your gravy is lumpy and bumpy and clumpy, friend, that is okay. Just go ahead and take a strainer and strain your gravy. And baby, this gravy is ready for whatever. This gravy is on whatever you want. This gravy ready for some dressing, this gravy ready for some mashed potatoes this gravy ready for some turkey baby whatever whatever you want the gravy on the gravy ready for whatever okay i'm trying to tell you thank you guys for watching don't forget to like don't forget to comment and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye until next time